Hey guys, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and we are taking a look at the new rigid octane brushless 18 volt six mode impact driver model number R86039. In this course, we are gonna compare it to the Gen 5X to give you kind of an opinion of your own. Do you wanna upgrade? Which one should you buy? What if you see one on sale? What's the differences? I think they're very similar. They're very, very similar unless you want to jump up to the three extra modes that Size-wise, yeah, they're very similar. There is some definite differences between the two. You can see the Octane has some more venting. Uh, there's no doubt there. There's definitely differences. The just body not. size of the Gen 5 is slightly smaller than the Octane, but very, just, very, very close. Yeah. The basics are the modes. The Gen 5X has your three modes on top with a push switch where the Octane has an electronic switch type yeah, style it's lighted. On the so it might be kind of hard to see outside in the sunlight. That'd be interesting. We should try that out. It's yeah. a nice sunny day here in Michigan, so we can get outside and test that. Basics, when you're looking at these two, very similar in modes one through three. Mode one is zero to 750 RPM in both. Mode two is zero to 2200 RPM in both. Mode three is where it differs, where the Octane model has zero to 3000 RPM, and the Gen 5X is zero to 2750. The IPMs on the Octane is zero to 3,900, where the Gen 5X is 3,500. So we got a little difference, not a lot. The new Octane model has 2,400 inch pounds of torque. And that's very comparable when you look at them. I mean, they're both good impact drivers. Very good. I'm gonna say impact wrench, one place in here, I guarantee it. <laughs> if well, I might no, not already one, have it. This one's set up for using it as an impact wrench in, in a way. In a way, you're right, it is. So. That's where we get to the extra modes on the Octane model. So mode four on the Octane model is a self-drilling screw mode, so self-tappers. Yeah. Basically with that, we're just running it through some steel and showing you what it'll do. I've never had good luck with this mode because my self-tappers are always a little bit longer than what these seem to be set up for. But the ones that we use here today actually work very well. They do. It just it spins it really fast to get through the metal and then it seems to impact slowly where yeah. I'd rather have it impact a little faster. Well, granted, we were using rather long self-tappers for what we were doing. So it's what I use. Yeah. I like to get the screw in the metal. It is what it is. Different, right. different people are going to use these different modes, and it's going to depend on your niche, wherever you're at. And some of them are going to work, some of them are Specific fastener you're using also. That's true. The fastener assist mode is number five, and that one is supposed to help you remove a damaged fastener. Or helps in reinstalling a damaged fastener, which we had a little bit of difficulty with that one. So removing it's kind of awesome. I mean, it just gives you a couple little blips, six blips on, and then, and then it slowly pulls the screw out. That's cool. I mean, that's the same thing that, that I yeah, do manually right. in one it's of the other modes. a little impact on the way out to break it loose, and then... On the way in, it's kind of slow to go, and, and then, then it starts impacting, and then it starts really impacting fast and speeding up, which is not what I'm comfortable with on a damaged so fastener. So if you think you have a damaged fastener to begin with, once it ramps up on you, you might strip the fastener out before you can let go. But there's somebody out there who really might use that and yes. that might fit in some sort of There again, depending fastener. on That's what right. fastener you're using. That's so. right. So mode six is an auto stop mode. Now we've all used some of these. They have it on impact wrenches. Mm -hmm. So basically here, you're just driving something in until it starts to impact slightly and then it stops. Which this one I thought worked very well. It did. If you're putting on a barn tin or something of that matter. It seemed to pick up whatever you were using and stop. Yeah. So if you're using a really long fastener at that point, that wouldn't work right? Because it's going to start impacting, trying to get things in, and it's going to stop. Right. But again, for the right fastener in the right situation, these auto modes work. I've always said it. I love just the variable speed trigger in yeah. my hand because I like to be able to control it. I can use modes one through three, but if the extra modes are there and available and they work for you, they could really help out. One thing I love about both of these tools is the spring assisted coupler. That one's a little worn in. But <laughs> it has some dirt in it. 
At the same point, they do. They, they, it depends on how you push them out. It works well. If you have a hot bit, you throw them out, and that coupler works excellent. Mm -hmm. Other than that, these two tools are oh. very similar. So what we wanted to do was With the lighting, everything. Yeah, we wanted to just run you through what happens when you put both these next to each other with a six inch lag and run them through the basics of some testing who's faster basically it was damn close wasn't it yeah and i think it was harder for us to get set with these than anything else yeah we actually started the screw into the wood versus going one two three and start from bare it was hard to get each one of them to contact at the same time so and then we switched because god knows i'm always faster than you are <laughs> in everything <laughs> no we're just uh, we're we wanted to try to make it fair in this so we dropped in a couple more there's no doubt that the octane is faster slightly it's not mind-blowing faster no. But for that guy who wants to push every little ounce out and get everything that he can, the octane definitely did kick in and, and produce more. The kicker with it after we were done was the feel of the octane. And I'm not saying that's bad because it's not overly warm. It was warmer. Granted, we used it more than we used the Gen 5. Not by much. No, no we're talking little tiny stuff. Yeah, and this one. The was Gen 5X old. was basically we got it about 65 in the shop right now the gen 5x heated itself up to right around 77 degrees okay the octane in the back heated itself up to 105 that's where the motor is pushing mm -hmm. all the the air out to cool itself the front portion got up to 97 so that interests me a little bit because it makes me wonder what TTI has inside this rigid that might be similar to the Gen 3 Milwaukee's because they do the same thing. Exactly. I don't know that it's definitely not as hot as what we've seen some of the smaller Gen 5 Milwaukee's get, but that gives us a reason to say, okay, that's why there's more cooling fins in the back compared to the Gen 5X. Mm -hmm. Although the fronts between the Gen 5X and the Octane look very similar. Yeah. Is it a big deal? Probably not, but it definitely happened. Right. So other than that, I guess if you're comfortable with the rigid grip, which I think is really nice, again, they always have the push button to turn on the LED lights. Variable speed trigger was awesome. There's not a whole heck of a lot of difference between the two other than some speed, some impacting, and a little bit of power. They're almost identical. So. We're going to leave that one up to you guys. It's cool what Rigid is doing here. They're definitely trying to solidify themselves as making everyone Home Depot shoppers and saying, come get these kick butt tools. We haven't seen an Octane that didn't hold up to its name. No, so no, I agree. They're, they're kicking butt. So we're going to leave a description uh, link in the description at the bottom. We'll have some promotions that Rigid's coming out with. I think that's well worth checking out. I know they have uh, their garage days going on right now. Depends on when you're watching this video. I'm not completely up on all the Home Depot sales, but I keep seeing the commercials coming through mm -hmm. and we just grabbed a couple of links so we can share with you guys. We appreciate your time. Make sure you give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. Again, thank you. Have a great day.